This is the uh, uh, famous impeller uh, upgrade to close the gap on the impeller on the used uh, metal screws or metal screws. I bought some glue to fixture the, the rubber because I thought it would be uh, easier than to mount the rubber. I have a knife obviously to cut the rubber. This is um, a baler belting all-purpose belt wire. You can get a central tractor supply. This is way more than I need, I think. Uh, so I installed the first um, rubber paddle uh, on the impeller with a single washer, as you can see here. And uh, this is what I found. The smaller uh, screws, metal screws, seem to work better. Uh, so these are, um, to look uh, closely, um, Chucks, I can't read it. These are like uh, number eight by three quarters of an inch um, and about uh, 19 millimeters long. That's a, so these smaller screws with a, a quarter inch head seem to be penetrating better. I didn't, didn't have luck uh, to get the larger um, number 10 screws in. Um, they, they have a 5 8 uh, head and they just couldn't get any traction in the, uh, on the peller. So in terms of prepar preparing it, or uh, what I did is uh, I uh, took this belt um, and I found that about uh, uh, 60 to 65 millimeters or about uh, uh, two and a half inches uh, of uh, width is, is perfect. Um, then I also uh, used a little bit of a sanding block to, um, to prepare the pedal. Uh, for gluing and I did use the Gorilla glue here to fixture the, the rubber uh, uh, um, pad uh, for um, uh, before for drilling. So I recommend that and I uh, will uh, show you how to uh, how to mount that in a second. So I cut the piece uh, like I said about four inches long and two and a half inches wide but before you monkey around um, with the impeller, you should definitely disconnect the spark plug uh, so that the engine can't start. In my case, there's no gas in it, but still, it could it, uh, it could fire, and you don't want to get your fingers chopped off. So, in order to prepare for the next impeller, you you move this bike forward with your hand in about this position under the auger, and you can see this is very rusty, and therefore I will be cleaning this with a, with a sanding pad to uh, use the Gorilla Glue. Now I have um, a clean uh, uh, put on the Gorilla uh, treated rubber pad and you can see I cut a corner to make it fit a little bit better. Now the pad is uh, glued on can see how it's sticking out um, over the uh, over the impeller, and uh, now I'm going to uh, drill through the auger, uh, place the screw uh, in here, uh, drilling in the uh, the self-tapping screw uh, with the extension here through the auger, uh, which allowed me to to forego the step of taking the plastic auger off. And now I have just one more left to go. It's all done. And you can see uh, the clearance. Um, and by hand I can easily turn it. You gotta watch out, of course. The, screw, the, uh, the metal screws are sticking through. And uh, you can see I mounted them uh, mounted the washers on the other side uh, close you know little with a very slight overhang to support the rubber and in, in this corner as opposed to back there to, uh, uh, to give them the most stability with a single screw and, uh, and I'm not sure whether it's that's sufficient or not uh, but uh, time will tell and in worst case I have to uh, 
uh, redo, refasten those rubber things with a plate like most of the other kits have. But I think this is actually, uh, my feeling is this is sufficient and maybe the glue alone would do it. Except I, I do think that the, uh, go, that the pedals will, impellers will continue to rust and that probably will separate off the glue layer. So to have a screw in there or two is probably a good idea.